Carmen, I'm an engineer here at Nuclea and today I'm going to guide you through this tutorial on how to load and compare two different models with Nuclea DB. If you've seen our previous tutorial, you already know how easy it is to perform semantic search over your dataset with Nuclea DB. But what happens when you really don't know which model to use? Say that you've done some research online, look into benchmarks, but you still don't know which model will fit your use case better. Well, we got you covered. With NucleaDB, loading vectors from different models, it's easy and quick. You just need to choose a couple of models, calculate the vectors for each row or item in your dataset, upload them to your NucleaDB, and you're ready to perform searches over the two different sets of models and compare the results. What we're going to do today is to try and find out which model works better for retrieving results from a very specific dataset outer related answers from Stack Exchange. In case you are not familiar with it, Stack Exchange is this group of question answer sites on different topics. We are going to use outdoors, but you can find anything from coffee to woodworking or the most popular one that you probably know, Stack Overflow. Now that our goal for the day is clear, I'll walk you through this notebook in which we have all of the necessary steps to achieve it. You can also find the notebook link below in our repo. First, we install the dependencies. We'll need NucleaDB SDK, that is our Python library to access and interact with your NucleaDB, sentence transformers and datasets from Hugging Face to load the data and one of the models and instructor embedding to load the other model. I already have this installed, so I'm skipping this part. And now we have to set up our NucleaDB. If you already have a local NucleaDB up and running, you can also skip this part. But if not, you can either run the image with Docker or install with pip and run it. I'm going to go for the later. Okay, we just type this on our terminal and it's running. But anyway, let's check that everything's okay. This basically pings the port in which it should be running and everything seems all right. So now we can load our data. We are using Stack Exchange data from the specific topic of the outdoors. You can choose any other topic that you like and this is in Stack Exchange. It's quite a small data set, only 200 answers, but you can also opt for a bigger or smaller one. And we are using the upvoted answers that is the best answer for each one of the questions. Now that we have the data, let's load the models. Since it was quite a specific topic, it was hard to find a model that was fine-tuned on the topic. If you have any, please let me know. So we chose MS Marco, that is a bit of a general one, and the instructor. The instructor is a model that allows you to generate embeddings specific for a domain and task that you specify through an instruction or prompt. Now that we have the models and our data, we just need to calculate the vectors and upload them to our local NucleaDB. First, we'll do some imports and then create our knowledge box. Knowledge box is how we call our data containers in NucleaDB. And then for each row of our data set, we upload the text and the vectors for each model, indicating with a text string the kind of model that they represent. This will take a bit, so just wait for a couple of minutes and it will be ready. Everything is uploaded now, so we can get to the fun part, the searches. What we are going to do is to take three different queries and explore which model gives us better results. Of course, if this was a real use case, we will do a more in-depth exploration, but we are just playing around a bit. Here you have just a small uh, helper function just to print the results better for clarity and to get only the first three matches. Okay, now let's get with the queries. First things, let's remember that to perform the semantic search, we don't use a string, but we use the vectors. And we need to encode the vectors with the same model that we use, for example, this MS Marco model, and then specify in the search that we are using that model with also the same string that we use in the upload, the name of the vector set. Okay, let's see what MS Marco said about how to deal with cold weather. Okay, the first one is related to insulating yourself, so it's quite accurate. The second one about putting beer in water so it gets cold. Uh, it's definitely helpful, but not sure if it's what we were looking for. And the third one is also a bit confusing, so these results are not particularly great. 
let's see what the instructor says. Okay, the first one, the same one about insulating, buying an overbag. If you don't have an overbag, it's a game changer. And the third one also, also related to cold. So I will say these are more accurate, but let's move on to the next query. What to do if you get lost? Okay, the first one is good, related to getting lost with fog. The second one, leaving no trace. I wouldn't recommend this unless you really want to get lost. And the third one, about not to panic. So I will say two of these are related and one is like not a very good answer. But what about the instructor? Again, the not panicking one, the fog one. And one about bear attack. So I will say the performance of this two models for this search was more or less the same, like two good results and like one not so good. And what to do if you run into animals on the trail with MS Marco, not to panic and sit down. This was related to getting lost. I wouldn't say this is very good. One about GPS and one about birds. So, okay, we got one out of three that is related, but what about the instructor? Okay, one about hyenas, wild dogs, and encounters with bears. Like, in general, for these three queries that I know is a super small example, um, I, I will say the instructor gives me a feeling that it works better, but to take a really informed decision, I will perform way more queries and look into it a bit more. But I encourage you to try different queries, even different models, and let us know which one you found that works better. So see you soon and ping us if you have any doubts. Bye.